Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't watched my recent video, or if you did, you would know that I had to recently retire my gym rope. Here she is. But just because she's retired doesn't mean she's at the end of her life. Today what we are going to do is repurpose this rope into some dog leashes and I'm gonna do that right now and show you how to do it too. In case you have an old rope just lying around, let's repurpose these things. Okay, sweet, let's get started. Let's talk about the materials that you're going to need and the tools that you'll need to make these dog leashes today. You're gonna to need a measuring tape, strong scissors or a sharp knife, a lighter, and of course you're gonna need your used climbing rope and some locking carabiners. That's everything that you need. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take that measuring tape and we are going to measure out how much rope we need. I'm just gonna make some standard six foot leashes today. For that, I'm gonna need the six feet for the leash plus some more for the ends where we're gonna tie knots. So about nine feet is a good measurement. That gives us some wiggle room on the ends. Okay, let's get that all measured out real quick. Now that we've got our measurement, we're going to throw that to the side, take our sharp scissors and cut the rope. Now that we've got it cut, the next thing that we are going to do is use that lighter that I was talking about to singe the ends. So basically when you cut it, it will look something like this. It'll be, ooh, look at it. I'm like a makeup person. Look at that. <laughs> but it will come out all frayed. So we need to burn this to seal it so that when you're using the rope, it won't fray to shreds. Get the ends all kind of melty. It's not gonna like catch fire or anything, so don't worry about that. But get the ends all nice and melted and then you can press it into like something. It doesn't really get that hot. Like I'm just using my fingers right now. It's warm, but <laughs> it's not burning me. So there we go. You'll see that it's all nice and hard. Okay, sweet. Now that we have both the ends all ready to go. Now I'm gonna tie the knots in the ends. I'm gonna start with the knot that will get the carabiner that will attach to you know the dog's collar or harness, whatever. On this end, I'm gonna tie a figure eight knot on a bite. Why? One, because I like the way it looks. And two, it's gonna be super strong. There's no way in heck that it's ever going to break. <laughs> okay, so let's tie that figure eight on a bite. You just want enough on the end for it to, um, fit the carabiner. Make sure, just like when you're tying in, that you're going to pull on all four ends. So one, two, three, and four. That will tighten up the figure eight quite a bit. You want that nice and tight so it doesn't undo. This end here, this one is fine. I only have a couple inches of rope. If you have more, you can cut it off or just retie again. But we are good on that end. So I'm gonna attach my carabiner. I'm also using a locking carabiner just because there's when you lock it, there's no way for it to undo. If you want to use a smaller carabiner, that is totally fine too. If you're using a wire gate, it will work, but just know that there is always the freak possibility that some movement could undo it, and then the dog would be free. With a locking carabiner, that's never gonna happen. Now let's do the handle end. On the handle end, I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough of a loop for your hand to fit, so that's kind of up to you. <laughs> and on this side, I'm just gonna do an overhand knot. And again, with this one, we don't want too much tail here, just enough. Cool, there we go. So we are done the leash. It's it's done. We've got the end of the rope with the carabiner that will attach to the dog's collar or harness. And then you've got your other end that is your, your side. And then we got six feet in between. So we've got a really nice standard leash right here. Once you're done one, it's just rinse and repeat from there until you have used up the whole rope. <laughs> and that's it. And then from there, you can give them away to your friends and family or you can sell them off. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell these ropes, but I am giving all of the proceeds to charity and it's gonna be a charity of your choice. How do you get your charity chosen for all the funds? Two simple things to do. Number one, subscribe to the channel. And number two, comment below the charity that you want to receive the funds from the sales. Pick some good ones. Pick some things that you're passionate about and write why it should go to them. Keep your eye on this channel as well so you can see how much we've raised and where the funds end up going to. More details for this are going to be in the description below. And if you are wanting to purchase one of the leashes uh, from me, that's amazing. Just slide in my DMs over on Instagram. I will put my handle here sick i cannot wait to see how much money we raise with this i'm excited and i really hope that you enjoyed this video maybe got some inspiration to repurpose your old rope 
And remember guys, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel so that you can be part of this incredible crew that keeps growing each week. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching again this week. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Ciao! Bye! <laughs>